Aloha, aloha, and good morning, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to 40 Days of Prayer for the Prodigal. 40 Days of Prayer for the Prodigal. I am Mary Elam, your host. Come on in, come on in. Let me welcome you. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. I am so excited for this is day 31. Day 31 of 40 days of prayer for the prodigal. Listen, God ain't playing, y'all. God ain't playing. Today is day 31. And I'm excited to have each of you join me on this journey, on this journey of 40 days of prayer. So come on in. I'm getting ready to share um, on my page. Y'all come in, tag your friends, tag your followers. Good morning, Miss Ida. Good morning. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome. Go ahead and like and share the broadcast. Good morning, Alicia Woods. Aloha. Welcome. Go ahead and like and share the broadcast. This is the day. Yes, we're going to rejoice. No matter what our situation, no matter what our circumstance, we will rejoice. Amen. Thank you to everyone who, um, who blessed and said condolences, um, reference to my friend. She was a warrior. She was a fighter. And I just, I will miss her. But you know what? God gets the glory because she is now in the arms of her Savior. And I'm so grateful. No more pain. No more anguish. God is so much greater. We thank you um, again. Good morning, Brittany. Good morning, everyone. Make sure you guys like and share the broadcast because we are going to be talking about a topic today that most people don't like to talk about. Most people kind of skim over it. We always talk about how we should forgive others. But one of the interesting things that the enemy always tries to do is he always tries to bring, and we talk about this a lot, the shame, guilt, and condemnation. So we have to, what? Forgive ourselves. Forgiveness of self is a game changer. It is a game changer. It's a game changer. The enemy tries his best to keep us in bondage to unforgiveness of ourselves. And sometimes even, um, uh, uh, of forgive, forgiving God, you know, he, we will, we will, I know for me for such a long time, you know, because I was a believer, um, when, when things began to happen in my life in my mind, I was not angry at God. I just, I felt it was partially my fault. What was going on in my life because of my sins and the sins of others. But I had to go through some healing and deliverance. And during those times when I was going through healing and deliverance, it was Holy Spirit brought it up to me that guess what? I was angry at God and I had to forgive God. So we, we're coming today to cover the gambit. We want to cover the uh, for our prodigal that they forgive themselves, that they forgive others, that they forgive God, that they no longer hold on to the shame, the condemnation, the guilt that the enemy tries to bring to them because it's all a mind trick. It's all a game. It's all it's a way to keep them in bondage. They, they, they're free from 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 their sin but then there's that 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 speck of 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 shame and guilt that he tries to keep that that th those things to press them in and press them down so that there's not complete healing and we want complete healing today we want complete deliverance today I hope you guys are really paying attention to my page. I posted another testimony on yesterday. God is y'all about when I when I saw when the 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 intercessor, uh, the wife inboxed me, y'all, I wanted to cry, you know, because so often the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy, especially marriages. He wants to steal, kill, and destroy our, 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 our relationships. He wants to steal, kill, and destroy the things that would keep us uh, unified as one. So when she she messaged me and I saw the message where the divorce uh, papers were put on hold and 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 her 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 husband um, was uh, was rethinking his things, you know God can do God can do what what I say a uh, suddenly right. If you read the post, she said this was a change from months ago when he was all ready to just go for it. Just, I wanted to, I'm tired. I want, you know, and now his heart is becoming softened. And I believe it's because of her persistence and, and, and her consistency and joining us 
in this prayer the uh you never know who what people are going through. You never know with the situation and the circumstance that people are going through. When they come on this on these on these prayer calls, when they come on this on this live, they've been coming on this live because many of them are at the end of their rope. They're they're touching, literally touching the hem of his garment and joining in one is there. It's it's that one that could chase a thousand, but two can put ten thousand to flight. And so as we come in together. And unity and oneness, interceding and praying on behalf of our prodigals. God is doing some things in their heart. He's touching their hearts. He's touching their minds. He's changing the atmosphere around them. There is a shift. And I keep hearing there's a shift in the atmosphere. And God is saying today, if you would only press into me. If you would only believe what I said, if you would only trust me, I will do what I promise. But you've got to put me first. You got to acknowledge me in all of your ways and let me direct your path. And as you are being directed, your pathway has been directed. He is making what? Every crooked place straight in the life for you and as well in the life for your prodigal. So again, we're getting ready to start um, to start the teaching as it relates to forgiveness. If you would go to 1 John 1 and 9, 1 John 1 and 9, we're talking about forgiving our prodigal, um, our prodigal forgiving themselves and forgiving others. Y'all, God is so good. God is so, so good. Make sure you like and share the broadcast. We wanted to go out to the airways, to the highways and hedges and, um, Perform the Great Commission. <laughs> Go you all to all the world. Yes. And preach the gospel. And this is a way for us to get the gospel out to those who would probably no wise uh, receive it or hear it. Okay. So First John 1 and 9. It says, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. I'm going to say that again. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from what? All unrighteousness. So the word of God is telling us today that when our prodigal comes before the throne and confesses their sins, and, and guess what? They don't even have to confess it in church. They don't even have to confess it to a priest. They could be in the bed. They could be on the floor. They could be in their car and say, Lord, here I am. I've done so-and-so. Will you forgive me? Forgive me of what I've done. Forgive me for the pain that I've caused. Forgive me for every wrong that I've ever done. Forgive me for, for hurting you. Forgive me for displeasing you. I never want to displease you. Forgive me. And it says that God is what? He's faithful. That means he's going to he's going to do it. He's faithful and he's just. He's a just God, right? That means he won't hold it against them any longer. He won't hold it against them. He won't say, "You know what? Remember when you did so?" No, that's the enemy that's trying to bring those things back to cause torment to our prodigal. No, God is faithful and just to forgive us our sins. And to cleanse us. Listen, we want to be clean. We want our prodigals to be cleansed from all unrighteousness. God, when God, listen, when God forgives, he does it with an exclamation point. He not only forgives, but he cleanses. Hey, He forgives and he cleanses. He forgives and he takes away. He forgives and he and, and, and he gives more. He gives, he does more. He does it with an exclamation point. He does the exceedingly and abundantly. We just want to forgive. But guess what? He not only forgives, but he takes it away. Glory to God. He cleanses from all unrighteousness. That means every unrighteous, every unright. When we are when we come before him with our hearts that are surrendered and yielded, when the prodigal comes to Jesus, when he comes before the throne, when he comes and says, I 
want you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, God. I messed up. I messed up over and over and over again. But you, but but then put him in remembrance of what he said. Put him in remembrance of his word. Put God in remembrance of what he said. He said that he is faithful. He is just. And he will cleanse them from all unrighteousness. God, I thank you. God, I thank you. That is that right there. That's good. That's encouraging. That's encouraging for us. So that's a prayer target. Lord, pull up my prodigal to the place where he has a heart of surrender so that he will confess. He or she will confess their sins before you because your word says that you will forgive them. And that you would cleanse them from all unrighteousness. So I trust they are being cleansed even now from all what? All unrighteousness. God, we thank you. God, we thank you. Hallelujah. Ooh, let's go to the next scripture, y'all, because I can, I can stay right there. I can stay right there. This one we quote all the time. Second Corinthians 5, 17 and 18. And again, I'm reading from the ESV version, okay? Second Corinthians chapter 5. Verse 17 and 18. Whew. Hallelujah. Y'all ready? Come on. Come on. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a what? New creature. Old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. Old has passed away. And new has come. All this is from God, who through Christ reconciled us to himself and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. Listen, come on. I'm, I'm, I'm going to read that again. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a what? New creature. So the enemy cannot hold that sin over their head. Why? Because they're new. Because mm. they're new. They're not old. They're not in. They're not. Listen, they're not in that sin. They're not doing those things. They're new. Why? Because they are made new in Christ. They are what? A new creature. Because what? They're in Christ. The old has passed away. And behold, he has made them new. Jesus. Jesus. Listen, all this is from God. It, God is saying, I, I, I did this. You can't take credit for this, Mary. Yes, you pray, but I did this. Who, th who through Christ reconciled them back to Jesus, reconciled them back to himself. He gave himself so that they could be reconciled, bought back to God. And gave us the ministry of reconciliation. Listen. Because of your prayers, because of your intercession, because of your faithfulness, and you work it in concert with God, guess what? You are now a minister of reconciliation. You are reconciling your prodigal back to the Father. Many times people ask me, well, if my, my husband or my, or, my, or, my, or my wife or my child, they never knew God. So how can they be a prodigal? Okay, so I'm going to share this with y'all. This is, this is my take on that. A prodigal, when you think about someone um, who's in sin or who, 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 are, who are living a sinful lifestyle, God created all of us. We are all his sons and daughters. So when we are in a sinful state, we are all prodigals. Why? Because we, we have left, we have left our father, but he's calling us back. He's calling us back. He's saying he's calling us back and he's using you to be a minister of reconciliation. He's using you to be a minister to call forth the prodigal, to call forth those who are on drugs, those who are addicted to alcohol, those who are in adultery and, and fornication, those who, who are into gambling, those who do the things we call consider little sins, who, who are filled with uh, jealousy and envy and pride and, 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 and gossip. and back. He is calling those back to himself. He said, I want the whole person. I want all of them. I want all my children to come back. And I, I don't want them to be held down by unforgiveness of themselves because once I forgive them, 
it's a done deal. Once I make them new, it's a done deal. Once I have forgiven them, all that is clean slate. Can we say clean slate? Can we say clean slate? The enemy is the only one who brings back uh, uh, what they did on yesterday or what they did on last week or what they did uh, two years ago. He's the only one that causes the uh, uh, those thoughts and, and, and those mental uh, pictures to come back. But we say today that they're forgiving themselves and they're forgiving others and they're forgiving God. They have a heart that is transformed. Their minds are transformed. Their minds, minds are renewed. Why? Because we are praying and interceding that they no longer think the way that their thoughts are not the thoughts of God. They have the thoughts of God now. They no longer think the way the enemy would have them to think. God is rewiring their brain. Mm. He's rewiring their, their, the neurological system of the prodigal. They think on a higher level. They think on a higher plane. They think the way God would have them to think. They think the Father's heart because he's calling them out of darkness into the light. Jesus, he's rewiring them. Hallelujah. So when, 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 and, 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 and he's giving them strategies how to fight the enemy. Hallelujah. So when he comes with a lie, oh, don't forget you did that last week. Or he brings a mental picture to their minds. They can pull down those imaginations. They can take those thoughts captive in the mighty name of Jesus. Just like just like on yesterday when Kristen and I was, were talking and he said, we take every thought captive and make it obedient to Christ. Their minds are being rewired. They no longer listen to the lies of the enemy because they know that they hear the lie, but they respond with the word. Just like when Jesus was on his fast of 40 days and 40 nights, he came off the fast. He was weakened in his body, but his spirit was strong. We, some of us are weak in our body, but because we have laid before God, because we have decided that we will go and, and keep going and keep going and keep going and don't stop and don't quit. Our bodies may be tired, but our, our spirit is strong. And guess what? Because our spirit is strong, God has given us the blueprint, the blueprint of using the word. So when the enemy comes and tries to remind us of what, the, what we did on yesterday, or the enemy comes to remind us of what the prodigal did two weeks ago, or what the prodigal did three months ago, guess what? They're able to open up their mouth and declare the word. Why? Because the word is being hidden in their hearts that they might not sin against God. The word of God is being hidden in their hearts. Hallelujah. So when the enemy comes with a lie and say, guess what? Remember, remember, huh, you was you was just in the bed with so-and-so last week. Guess what? I don't care what happened last week. Today, I'm a new creature. All things are passed away. I am reconciled to Christ. I am reconciled to my father. So get thee behind me, Satan. I shut up about God. Hallelujah. I don't care what happened on two days ago. I forgive. I forgive myself. I no longer hold myself hostage because the whom the sun sets free is free indeed. Glory to God. I'm free to worship without the bondage of, of, of criticism. I'm free to worship without without the, 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 the negativity of the negative words from the enemy. I am free to, to lift up my holy hands and give God praise. He's, they're free to do these things. Why? Because they know without a shadow of the doubt that they are forgiven. Mm. And that's the key right there. They have to know that they are forgiven. They have to believe without a shadow of a doubt that they are forgiven by God. And once they realize that they're truly forgiven by God, then they can forgive themselves. Once they truly know and trust God with everything within them, they can, they can boldly come before the throne of grace and say, thank you, Father. I know that I'm forgiven. I know what you said about me. And so I trust you 
with everything in me. I no longer believe the lies of the enemy. I trust the true and living God because I know what you promised. I know that you said that I'm reconciled back to you and I believe it. I stand on it. Your promises are true. Your promises are true. There's no, there's no, there's no lying in you. You are not the father of lies, but you are truth. And I believe you and I stand on your word and I trust you with everything within me. And so father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, we come before you, Lord God, hearts surrendered, hearts repenting, hearts looking to the heels from which cometh our help. Our help comes from you because you created heaven and earth. God, we thank you. We thank you, Lord God, that we know that we are forgiven. We know, Lord God, that you have made us ministers of reconciliation. And so, Father, as we surrender our will for your will, Father, we intercede and we pray for our prodigals. We intercede and we pray, Lord God, that as they come out from among them and they're separating themselves from the works of darkness, they're separating themselves from the works of sin, they're separating themselves, Father, and, and, they're, and they're hooking up to the supernatural power source, which is the Holy Spirit, which gives them dutimous power to defeat the enemy, to defeat every lie, because they are able to step and stomp out the scorpions and serpents. They're able to step and stomp out every lie, every trick that the enemy would try to bring their way. They're able to step and stomp on every demonic assignment that's against them to include unforgiveness of themselves. And so, Father, they trust you and they believe you, Father, and they're coming before you, Lord God, surrendered and yielding, Lord God, another level of freedom. I'm hearing another level of freedom. They're walking into another level of freedom, free to worship, free to praise, and just, just free, mm, just free. Feeling the freedom of no longer uh, 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 being accused. Because we know that the enemy is an accuser of the brethren. He day and night, he sits around and he accuses us. Day and night, he sits and he accuses us. But Lord, we thank you that because you have given us repentance. Ah, Repentance is our weapon. When we come before God. And, and, and they have heart, the prodigal has hearts of repentance, God. They have hearts of, of, of yielding and surrender unto you. They, they're repentant. They have a heart of repentance, a heart of a, a, a broken spirit and a contrite heart. God, that is what you desire. That is what you require, that we come before you, Lord God. Because when we come before you with a broken spirit and a contrite heart, you will not despise. You are forgiving. You are loving. And you are making them righteous. Mm. They are oaks of righteousness. Hallelujah. They are oaks of righteousness. And they are clothed. Hallelujah. Mm. I hear my spirit. They are clothed in your glory. They are clothed in your glory. Hallelujah. You are clothing them. Hallelujah. Mm. You are giving them new shoes, the shoes of peace, so they can walk in peace. They will not be disturbed because why? They walk in the peace of God. Hallelujah. They don't have to listen to the lie because they got on their belt of truth. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. They're wearing their breastplate of righteousness because you are making them righteous. They have on that helmet of salvation to guard that mind. And they're carrying the shield of faith to, to, to quench every lie and fiery dart of the enemy. They put up their faith knowing their faith is believing and trusting that the true and living God has got their back. And they have that word, that sword of the spirit. And they're learning how to wield the word. They're learning how to wield that sword mm, to cut up every lie, to cut up every untruth, to cut back 
of unforgiveness and to cut it back huh, and to cut it and to destroy it and to sever it in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You have given us, given them the weapons. They're not carnal, but they are mighty in you to pull down and to destroy every stronghold of the enemy. And God, we thank you. Hallelujah. 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 They win. <laughs> they win. Hallelujah. They win. Hallelujah. They win. Glory to God. They win. Hallelujah. They win. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And so, Father, we just come before you now. We have an invitation for your for your sons and daughters, for those who may watch this live or watch the replay, your sons and your daughters who don't know you. We ask that we're praying that they come to you, that they come to you, that they ask for forgiveness. That, that Just pray this prayer with me. If you don't know, have a relationship with Jesus and you want one, you want what we have, you want uh, to have that fire on the inside of you that heals the brokenness, that heals all your wounds, that heals every disease. Guess what? All you have to do is come to him and ask him, Father, forgive me for my sins. Forgive me for the things that I've done that displeased you. I know that Jesus died for me. I know that he rose again for me. And I know that you are accepting me right where I am. So I'm coming to you with my arms. Oh, Shotan Ayeboko, with my arms arms wide open. I'm coming to you with my heart bare before you. I want you to be Lord of my life. I want you to be Savior and Lord of my life. If you prayed that prayer, then you are now a son, a daughter of the true and living God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are a son of, of, of and a daughter of the true and living God. And he's saying to you today, I forgive you. And he's cleansing you from all unrighteousness. And you are reconciled back to the Father. You are reconciled back to him. Hallelujah. God, we thank you. We thank you, Father. We thank you. And right now, I, I, I cover every person that's watching this live right now. Every person that's watching this live and they may watch the replay, I cover you with the with the blood of Jesus. If you're under the sound of my voice, I cover you. I cover you. I, I destroy, dismantle, disintegrate every demonic assignment that would try to come and stop and block and hinder your prayers. It is covered under the blood of Jesus. It is covered under the blood of Jesus. Your prayers will go forth. Your prayers will break barriers. Your intercession will move mountains because you are standing in faith. We are standing unified as one. We are unified as one and no weapon that is formed against us shall prosper. Our prodigals will come home. Our prodigals, our prodigals will have a relationship with the true and living God. Decree it and declare today. They know Jesus. They walk hand in hand with Jesus. Hallelujah. He is their father. He is their Lord. He is their savior. He is their everything. And we bless you today. I thank you guys again for joining me. Day 31. Tomorrow is day 32. Come and visit. Come and sit down with me again as we pray and go before the throne of grace. God is so good. He's so amazing. I'm loving all the testimonies that are coming forth. Continue to lift each other up. Continue to lift each other up. Continue to intercede on behalf of your brothers and your sisters who are interceding as well. They need your prayers. They need your prayers. They need your encouragement. Continue to lift them up. God is greater. He's greater than anything that the enemy would try to throw at you or bring your way, uh, put on you. God is greater. Listen, whenever you feel as though you can't make it another 
step, another moment, another day. Worship. 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 Worship confuses the enemy because he doesn't understand how I can beat you down so much and yet you yet worship the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Worship is a weapon. Blessings. I love you guys and aloha.